into our breakout sessions. We have something on the agenda that we're calling Celebrate PCAT. Um, what we'd like to do now is continue with honoring the people who have really helped make a difference in this work and have helped us to do this work from their respective areas. And um, the first person I'm going to call up is my good friend and someone who is very familiar to all of you who is wearing the most beautiful green dress today and who has served as a community champion in the area of media, helping us to get the word out, helping to keep the attention on the individuals, the faces, the people, the human story behind ACEs, childhood exposure to violence, and other things. And that would be none other than our very own Fox 13, Meryl Purvis. Thank you. very much. And would you join me uh, in a round of applause for this amazing woman? <laughs> we know all about your family and how wonderful your family is. She comes by this grandeur, honestly, with the kind of family that she has. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, champion, community champion award. Um, I remember very well growing up poor and being told that we were middle class. And forever I just thought, my poor parents, they don't have a clue. But as I aged, I understood that middle class for them represented, what are your values? Um, what is it that you will stand on no matter what? in the face of all kinds of obstacles. What is it below which, on the value scale, you will not go? And I'm very grateful uh, that one of the things, the tenets of who I am and what they taught me is that um, the community is inside your home and it's your neighbor next door and it's children that you don't know, and it's people that you think you have opposing uh, views with who are still human beings and who still deserve your consideration. I'm reading, finishing up a book called Before We Were Yours, and it is about the horrible things that happen right here in Shelby County, um, and the year in the book uh, talks about the 50s and 60s and what Mrs. Tan did to children, to babies. Um, she would take the prettiest ones from their mommies if they were poor, and they would be sold off under the guise of adoption to wealthy families all over the country. Um, whoever could pay the highest tab. And you look at what's happening today to children. And those children in Shelby County may as well have been children from um, uh, a foreign country for all the help they got, which was not at all. And we see the same thing happening now to children here in this county, in this state, in this country, and those trying to get into this country who seemingly have no champions. Um, but as champions, which is what you all are, as champions, let me just say thank you. And I know it is not easy, and I know like me, you go to bed many nights feeling helpless, feeling like there is nothing more you can do, no matter how hard you try. Stephanie, I know you go to bed and you think, I, I, what else can we do? when it seems like there is nothing else. But I beg you today, just hold out until tomorrow, hold out until after lunch the next day, and then try to get through dinner working with these children. Um, they will be the ones, 
who take care of this world that we leave behind. And if they are not your family members, they will still be the ones taking care of this world where your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren will reside. Uh, in the United States, in Russia, Germany, France, it doesn't matter. Uh, when the world is about to go to war, it shrinks in size. And the ones that we touch now are the ones who will ultimately decide how safe that world is. Thank you all so much for what you do. And, and just uh, please, just hold on until after breakfast when you are dealing with our children. Because I know it's not easy um, and it's not supposed to be. That is why you are called champions. Uh, have a good rest of the day. I'm going to get out and find what the next thing is in this horrible news cycle. Uh, and have a great, you've earned a great weekend. So take it back. You know, we are so blessed to have in this area the kinds of journalists and investigative news people like Merle to keep going after the story about the human side of the story. And we have always been able to count on her to help us get the message out and to be a community champion. In the area of media, someone who could not be here today that we are honoring as a community champion is David Waters, who used to write for the Commercial Appeal and now is some fancy professor in the School of Journalism over at U of M, but who continues to work on the story behind the, the incident, the people in that, in that uh, space. And we wanted to honor him. He, unfortunately, could not be here today, so we will give his award to him. Um, we could not do the work that we do in support of the children and families that we serve in our grant, Protecting Children um, from ACEs and Trauma without a strong relationship with our law enforcement community here in Memphis and Shelby County. And we are honored today to be joined. Um, Sheriff Floyd Bonner could not be here, but he has sent in his stead a representative to accept an award for the work that we have been pleased to work on uh, with the Shelby County Sheriff's Office in the area of reform. Uh, everything from training law enforcement officers to understand adolescent development, ACEs, exposure to violence and what that does to the development of a child, to our current work with them on uh, reducing racial and ethnic disparities in the juvenile justice system through a, an innovative training uh, curriculum that we are now spreading throughout the law enforcement community. Uh, we are pleased to award today to uh, Sheriff Bonner and his team, uh, and, and accepting for him as Chief Booker, uh, who, are, who have worked with us steadfastly to make sure that we're creating the right kind of new relationship between our community and our law enforcement uh, to make things better for our children and families. So, Chief Booker. honoring Sheriff Bonner um, for his work in support of juvenile justice system reform uh, and in recognition of the leadership and advocacy that he and his department are showing on behalf of our youth here in Shelby County. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Cecil Booker. I'm Assistant Chief of Sheriff's Office in charge of Patrol Division and Patrol Support Services. One of the things that uh, Sheriff Bonner has us make sure that we do with our people is to treat the children, anybody else, the same way that we would want to be treated. And that's an important thing. When we get a chance to go out here and we interact with the public and everything else, when you're dealing with children in particular, you have to remember one thing. As adults, we all were children at one time. As adults, we have no, we, we are tasked with knowing better and being able to do better. And if we do better, things will come out better. And that's one of the goals that we have. That is the primary goal. On behalf of Sheriff Bonner, Chief Deputy Scott Wright, thank you for the award. We look to be part of this more going.